Well, in this video we're going to uh, demonstrate for you the AL7000 digital breathalyzer. Uh, the pack we're going to show you is actually a hard case pro pack. It's manufactured in Korea uh, by Santec. Uh, the packaging outer is a uh, hard plastic case with two locking front pieces. Just open that. And inside you have an insert. The unit comes with the digital breathalyzer. On the front there is a protective uh, coating just to keep the, the screens from getting scratch damage. Now preloaded into the breathalyzer is the sensor. On the reverse of the AL7000 this is the uh, sensor port. Uh, the beauty of this design is the ease with which you can remove the sensor. If I just open that up you can see inside the sensor module which uh, can be removed and replaced uh, to maintain the calibration. Preloaded in the, the unit is uh, the batteries with a paper seal that needs removing before you can test. So you're, you're basically ready to go with the breathalyzer there, everything's ready out of the box to work. Included in this pack is a uh, DC uh, power source. Uh, this is only really use if you're in a vehicle and you've got access to a cigarette uh, power supply in a vehicle. Uh, the lead on there is purely for power, this isn't a, a computer cable. You get a, a soft pouch for storage with a, a clip on it and also in this pack you get uh, five mouthpieces supplied and a carry handle which is basically just a wrist uh, band which can be attached through the battery port of the breathalyzer. So that is the AL7000 digital breathalyzer. You get a user's manual with it as well. Uh, basically runs you through the different functions, uh, how to do a test, how to change the sensor as well. The sensors provided with the AL7000 are a good quality semiconductor sensor. Uh, you get a, a count on the front screen every time you switch the, the breathalyzer power up and this basically counts the number of tests that have been performed by that sensor and it will indicate when the sensor needs changing. Uh, you can reckon to have 200 tests per sensor and at that stage you should have a replacement sensor ready to uh, refit. Some of these units they just uh, refuse to test once they reach that 200 uh, count. Uh, it may also indicate if there is damage to the sensor with an SEN or CAL display. Again, if this happens, which can occur more rapidly than 200 tests if the unit is used to uh, measure high levels of alcohol, um, then the sensor will need to be changed. The other ongoing consumable item that you should budget for are the mouthpieces. If it's just for personal use, then the five robust rigid plastic mouthpieces which are supplied with the starter pack probably all you're going to need but if this is being passed from person to person then to avoid an infection control hazard you basically need to look upon the mouthpieces as consumable single use units. Now they're available widely in a range of different designs. Uh, all of them fit the AL7000 as well as other Centet breathalyzers and a few different models as well. Available in packs of 10, 25s, 50s and 100s and if this is being used uh, for regular uh, testing in a, uh, an environment such as pubs or clubs, then bulk packs of the mouthpieces are available in 500s and 1000s from value breathalyzers. So hopefully that's shown you what you get when you purchase an AL7000. As I say, this isn't a standardised pack. The packaging on these varies quite considerably. Uh, so look up the, uh, the graphic that you're uh, being offered at point of sale because there are different pack options available with the AL7000. Not all of them come with all these bits. Smaller packs with a hard case don't have the uh, 12 volt charger. But as I say, that's not a big issue in our experience. It's very rarely used with having the onboard battery pack. Uh, the batteries will last for the lifetime of the sensor. So 200 tests would be quite normal out of a pair of AA batteries.